What is up? It's your boy, Anecdotal, and today, today I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a beginner's guide for the airship mode for Endless Frontier. So let's go ahead, get right into it. If you haven't already, once you click on the airship icon in the upper right corner, you can go ahead and start building your airship. Everybody has the same four airships. This isn't one of those crazy games where you need to re-roll to make sure you get the best airship. Everyone gets four airships. They're all the same. And for the most part, everything is done for you. Except, of course, for building the whole thing. So when you first start off, you're giving, you are given the blueprints for four different airships along with all the materials that you need for it except for one thing the unit now i'm assuming the unit pilots it but it doesn't really matter once you get the unit you evolve it then bam you build it and it's gonna take 10 minutes there is no reason to waste any sort of gems to quicken that just wait 10 minutes it's it's not a big deal if you would like you can buy a dock which enables you to go ahead and try to build more than one ship at a time as far as I can see, at least for now, getting the materials to get those ships takes a long time. So you don't really need more than one dock for now. So it's not something you really got to worry about. What is important is to know that there are different ships. There are like seven different ships. So of course, some of them are going to matter more than others. The one that I see matters the most. The absolute most is the battleship. The battleship is going to be the one that's made for battle, which means that in order for you to get through any sort of content, you need the battleship. The battleship is used to attack. They have the highest stats for attacking. Everything else, it's whatever. But as the name implies, the battleship is made for battle. So make sure to get it. Go ahead, level it up. Leveling it up is kind of weird. See, every single time you have it, it has a certain level cap and then you need to promote it it has a new level cap you use the things that look like crystals they're called arrow stones and those are used to level them up so the first thing you want to do is try to get yourself a battleship level it up promote it level it up promote it again and you just keep doing it as you can see i got mine up to level 97 trying to get it up to level 100 and for you to farm it you just want to go ahead and by farm it, I mean farming arrow stones to level up. You just want to go ahead and go to the highest stage possible because there are more spaces for you to stop at and that way you can get the most stones. That's what I see at least for now. If, however, you're trying to get materials, you will need to use the dungeons. The dungeons that have all the materials for the particular or the specific tribe. Now, tribes also matter, but for now, whatever you get that's a battleship build it and then just just enjoy the content and destroy everything you can with that so that's the first unit that matters because you need to get through content before anything else the other thing that i see matters a lot but i don't have yet but i'm working for or towards is getting one that searches it looks like a flashlight icon over here you know but or maybe like a weird eye. Those things help you find arrow stones when you stop somewhere. So a lot of times when I'm playing the game right now, I stop at chess and it says you found nothing. That's because you have no search <laughs> in any of your ships. And that's horrible. You know, it's like to find a treasure chest and it'd be empty. That's horrible, man. Who knows what could have been in there? I can't have that in my life. So make sure to have a really, really, really high level search one as well. Now, those are the two that are I find to be super important, but other than that, it's the luck ship. And I said this since day one, before I even knew how anything worked, that luck had to be something good. What, what I did find out, however, is that you only need a one-star luck ship, and the luck is maxed at whatever. So as long as you have a luck ship, don't be afraid to spend resources promoting your luck ship, getting as much luck as possible. Now, you're probably wondering, why does luck matter other than just finding stuff? Well, other than just finding stuff, what luck does, supposedly, it helps you not get hit by things. Now, if you want to know what each stat does, if you go on the, the actual airship 
and you click over there, it'll tell you what the breakdown there is. It's weird to try to navigate yourself to find out what everything does. But what Luxship does is it helps you dodge sort of like the meteors that hit you or the poison that hits you, which is great because if you have enough luck, you don't need to have the right tribe in order to semi be immune to the effects. So that's always a really, really good thing. You could always farm to get, uh, what are those things? These new things called that, that are basically stamps that you look at, but you can't click on uh, seals, those seals things. Oh man. Uh, I guess it's, it's like, what arts i don't even know what that's about what it does is it increases your tribe friendliness when you get it at one star it's 10 two star at 20 and so on and so forth it's it's a whole lot of whatever from as far as what i can tell it doesn't matter what unit it is so if you have a one star hippogriff it's the same thing as having a one star elf warrior it's like it's no biggie now the things that you really really want because you want to start farming early, you want to start farming fast. So once you have a battleship to beat people up and you're strong enough, the next thing you want to worry about is having cargo. Cargo ships are of paramount importance. What it does is it increases the capacity of arrow stones that you can carry. So let's say a stage has the possibility of giving you 60 arrow stones. And along with your luck, you could actually get more than that, maybe 72 arrow stones. But because you don't have a cargo ship, the maximum amount that you can get is 40. So that can almost half or worsen the amount of arrow stones you can get. And you need arrow stones to level up. And the higher level you are, the more stones you need. And the more stars you are, probably you'll need more stones. Cargo ships are of paramount importance you don't want to be getting 40 arrow stones when you can be getting 80 or 90 or 100 arrow stones so once it comes to the time when farming is going to be all we do it's just going to be cargo ship on top of cargo ship and there are other things there's the repair airship which you can see has like a hammer basically after every turn you heal which is nice but i don't think it's needed it's, it's sort of like reviving in stage running teams. If you can't beat it and you revive, you're just going to end up getting beat again. So if it's ever a question of survival or beating a stage, work on your battleship and that way you'll beat everything. For now, I'm leveling everything up because honestly, the amount of arrow stones we're getting and we're using, they're nothing. They're a drop in a bucket. It's one raindrop within the entire ocean it doesn't matter so feel free to level your guys up for now but the things that you do want to be wary of is material the material you want to use though are gonna be those one star materials because one stars uh the material for one stars are used for one star ships what else are you gonna use it on the ones for two stars are used for two star ships and as you can see here what could happen later on is that these stages are gonna get longer and longer and for that you're going to need I believe it's called navigation ships. Now, navigation ships, uh, ships, what they do is that they just let you go further. So what happens with navigation ships is on the right side, the upper right side where you get to click and you'll see how far it goes. Luckily, there's an auto function and I don't need to worry about that anymore. Uh, it spins for you and the numbers of the roulette will change depending on how much navigation you have and it's the navigation ships that give you that so you instead of me going up like t by two or going up by three steps or whatever i can be going up by four or five or six steps which for sure is going to be necessary once we get into higher level type stuff where the map will will require you to have a lot of steps and also a lot of energy but right now none of that's that important if you want you can go ahead and get one of everything and level it up it's like really sort of balancy and safe but in in my eyes battleship number one to beat things uh transport ships so that you can get all the supplies that you would get when you do beat things and luck so that you would get those supplies in the first place but it's not super rare to get stuff but i still think that luck is really up there and those are the top three things that you want to get when you first start playing this game mode uh, enhancement. 
enhancement happens when you get certain other one star ships at first you just need to get a repeat of the same ship uh, i did it at one uh for the one person you see there it also has the ability to increase your leadership skill that's right guys people have leadership skills but they seem to be Focus into a certain tribe. So if it increases attack, it only increases attack for humans or only for orc or so on and so forth. But I think I want something that increases supplies. Obviously, you're going to want a different team of five depending on what you're doing. Are you farming? Are you trying to beat content? And depending on that, it's what it is. Now, you can go ahead, like you saw when I was playing, you have the ability to do auto. If you have the ability to do auto, you should do it. I, I heard some people say that you might get less stuff. The only reason that that's true is because you're not clicking on skills. So when you saw, like right here, they tell you the breakdown of everything. Here you can see that the stats are a lot higher for attack and stuff. His skill is to throw like a, a weird looking smaller plane, I guess, or something. Or some sort of ship that attacks the enemy. The luck one, when you click it, gives you a little bit more luck the the cargo one or the transport one gives you more cargo or supply room and the supply room one gives i mean the supply one for some reason gives you more energy i guess so that's kind of like that and then there's instant farming i wouldn't do that i, I just don't think that's a good idea but it but if you have to you know do it the good thing about it is you don't lose anything for for having this page open and i'm pretty sure that stage running continues uh i'm not 100 percent sure but when i look back it looked like i passed quite a few stages but i don't know if that's the same amount of stages i would have passed if i was like offline and i exited the game so if you do have information on that whether playing the airship mode will interfere with your spirit run like the timing of it Feel free to comment that below. It would be a great help. I'll definitely pin that and like it if, if you're sure. If you're wrong, then, you know, don't, don't just talk and not know. I'll test it later myself just to make sure. And then in the next video, I'll let you know. Also, this is about my fourth video, I think, in a row. Like, back to back to back to back days. Don't expect stuff like this, okay, guys? I, <laughs> right now, it's almost like false advertisement for people that just subbed. Uh... Nobody got time for this, man. This is crazy. The update has been crazy. Most of the videos I, I made, like the first two or three, were all on day one. So the little meme about like, press the build button. It was beautiful to see the past few days. It's been hilarious, guys, and I love it. So definitely, you know, hashtag press the button, press build has been has been just amazing. So uh, thanks. Thanks for that, guys. Thanks for that. All right, so let's go ahead and talk more about airships what what is it that's that's missing okay so materials what you want to know about materials is that there are specific days that you can go ahead and get materials for specific people or specific tribes and you want to do that you want to make sure that you have that sort of strength and go in with whatever their weakness is so the only thing i really remember is that elves are superior or in the rock paper scissor kind of way elves beat the undead and then i think the undead beats orc and orcs beats um humans not 100 percent sure about that but within that they all have their own sort of attribute associated with them like i think the undead has darkness and the elf has whatever like light and light beats that so you want to make sure that when you're going into tribe specific farming that you use those tribe ships but i'm pretty sure that early on you could just overpower it with whatever you want uh the next thing is should i spend uh gems on spirit highlands or on refuels spirit highlands do you see this i spent all my gems every single day on spirit highlands if some i remember somebody asking how is it that you have so many pets? And that's Spirit Highlands. Every single day since since I first started playing, pets is a finite resource. Like you can't get them un in an unlimited amount. So every single day I had to wait to get three fragments or four fragments or even one fragment. So I made sure that I tried to get as many pets as possible. Here, I, I hear maybe that the amount of gem cost will go down, but whatever if not only do refreshes maybe three times or four times but definitely spirit highlands 
over airships even though it's a new mode it's it doesn't look super interesting like it's definitely something i'm gonna auto and not always click anymore because it's uh not super interesting it's cool though i mean the first time i played it it was nice but having to click the roulette was annoying and i'm glad the auto function is there the times three function is there thank goodness we don't need to get a pet <laughs> and like senior it or something like that i'm glad that we automatically have three times speed because this is basically just a board game where you're hopping around and you're attacking Hopefully this gets a little bit more interesting as it goes on. It's awesome because it's new right now and I have zero complaints about it because it's completely new and I have no real thing to worry about at least for now. But that's that's for now. So as you can see here, if you click on it or you hold it, you'll end up seeing that it'll tell you what's going on. So here you can see that it's a whole lot of different creatures, a whole lot of different terrain that can hurt you. And the best thing to have since all of this is darkness would be the elf tribe. Now you don't really need to focus on a particular tribe. Like I don't think it matters that much. Uh, I, I really have no favorites. I kind of want to go human because I like humans, but that's just the first battleship I got. So, so that's it. You can read everything. Uh, everyone has the same amount. Nobody's getting different numbers for ships and they're better or worse than somebody else's. It's exactly the same. Just like the units, there aren't any discrepancies upon stats other than they increased it. And once you get the same amount, everything is the same. There's no like lucky drops or something like that. So here with all these reds, you click them, you do their skills. It tells you what you get. Uh, if I click the attack skill, you'll see that I'm going to throw like a bigger... I don't know, little attack thingy, and then it hurts. And then it's just one attack. It's not like it's a buff forever. It's just one really strong attack. And here you see I found nothing, and that's because I don't have any luck. So guys, make sure to get luck. Make sure to get the battleship to get through content. And if you have any advice and you want people to see it, this would be a nice place to go ahead, leave a comment and help the community out here because this is a completely new game mode for absolutely everybody. If you're a Korean player and you have like a month advantage over everybody else, feel free to tell us what tribe works better than others and maybe what you guys did or if it even matters in the beginning because I know one star one star airships aren't going to matter even two star airships aren't going to matter we're going to get past that really really quick i'll probably use gems to buy refuels and get as far as possible so i can go ahead and help you guys out earlier so that you all know what to do and whether something is worth it or not just because i have that supply but once the 11th honor units come out my honor coins and my gems are going to be gone so here you see the cargo numbers or or should i say the fuel numbers or how many steps you're going to take when spinning the roulette make sure that you have navigation ships like i said in the future and down the line those things are going to really really matter you're either going to need energy to keep going or you're going to need the navigation ships so that you take higher steps either way whichever way you want to do it it's going to work out when you're looking at the shop I don't really see a reason to spend at all like maybe the seals but we don't know if those particular unit seals can be found in other quests so it might be a waste of time like my orc fighter since it's a two star gives me 20 friendliness and my elf warrior since it's at one star gives me 10. Now, that means if I get a Hippogriff, which we know is a better unit, right? It's a five star unit at one star will still give me 10, right? So it doesn't matter, does it? So, so it's like they're just stamps and when they are at a particular star we get more friendliness it's not something to be ignored however the same way pet points aren't to be ignored all of that will be helpful in the end the friendliness numbers will add up and like i said there are a lot of goodies to get with friendliness we can get an extra artifact slot we can get maybe even another quest it's probably going to take a while and so much more, more tickets for Outland Battle, and so on and so forth. So make sure not to ignore this early on, but I don't think you need to spend anything in the shop unless you don't want to waste fuel. And of course, if you like this video, guys, make sure to leave a like, share it with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and anybody you know that plays Endless Frontier. And of course, if you want to see some more Endless Frontier content, make sure to subscribe. I'm your boy, Anecdotal. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.